Hey guys, it's Mario from PilotEffect.com and I'm going to do a quick, really quick video on uh, this question that I get all the time on a weekly basis, emails, private messages, comments on videos and stuff like that uh, for like a year now. So I'm going to address it now. I might come off a little harsh. I don't mean to be, uh, but I think this is needs to be said. Uh, and what I'm talking about is let's say I get an email saying Mario. I really want to become a pilot. It's my passion. It's what I want to do in my life. Um, I need to be a pilot, but I don't have enough money. Okay. So if I went to my local flight school, let's say, and I asked them, how much is it going to cost me to become a pilot? They're probably going to pull out a course syllabus and it's going to list out all the ratings and licenses and all this stuff that's supplies and whatever. Uh, 200 bucks for a uh, headset, um, 100 bucks in planning material maps and CFS or whatever. Uh, and then it's maybe going to be um, $5,000 for pre-solo flights and then to complete the PPL or private license it's going to be $10,000. If you want to get your commercial pilot's license it's going to be $20,000. If you want to do your multi-IFR you're probably looking at $40,000 let's say. Now I'm just guessing. I'm not sure what the rates are right now. So I'm like okay so it's going to cost me $40,000 to have a commercial pilot's license with a multi-IFR rating to be industry ready to start working as a pilot. Cool. So I go and look in my bank account and I see how much money I have. Well, even right now, as an adult, as a pilot working in industry, I do not have $40,000 in my bank account to spend on becoming a pilot. I can't imagine a lot of people do. So if I was asking myself right now, I want to be a pilot, can I afford this? The answer might be no. Now, <laughs> Here's the thing, is that when they say it costs twenty thousand dollars, it costs ten thousand dollars, thirty thousand, forty thousand, whatever number that they pitched, they told you, they pitched you. This is a number that it'll cost, or that you'll end up spending when it comes to sort of near the end. Okay, it doesn't mean that I need to walk into the flight school with my forty thousand dollars and say, "Here you go, I'm ready to become a pilot." Absolutely not. Typically with flight training, you're paying the flights as you go. So let's say I go up for an hour and it might cost me $180, $200, whatever. So for my first flight, I need to pay $200. And if I'm flying once a week, I'm going to probably have to pay $800 a month for flight training. So that's a lot more reasonable number to deal with. Now, what if you can't afford that? Well, if you really want to become a pilot, it doesn't mean they need to become a pilot tomorrow or start your flight training tomorrow. If you truly want to become a pilot and you don't have the $200 for your first flight or the $800 for your first months of flying or however you're going to schedule your flight training, you should probably work. Get a job. Start saving up money. You can afford that iPhone or that Samsung mobile device or that new graphics card or you bought that game on Steam on sale. You can afford all these things, right? And I'm not trying to criticize your spending habits, not at all. I'm just saying that there is money flow and you need to save it and be disciplined and have enough passion inside of you to save it over time. And maybe after six months, maybe after a year, maybe after three years, whatever it takes. You might have enough money for your first six months of flight training and you can get started. So just because you don't have the $40,000 doesn't mean you can't afford to become a pilot. Heck, I can't afford to become a pilot if I needed to pay $40,000 right now. No, but I can definitely probably afford $200 in a few weeks from now if I saved up uh, and probably afford that for a while if I manage my resources probably, maybe stop eating at restaurants, maybe cancel my cell phone, maybe cancel my car insurance, park my car for a while. You have to manage your finances as much as possible to make this happen. I'm not trying to lecture you again. This sounds harsh. But if you truly want to become a pilot, you will be, find a way. Finances will not stand in your way. And those people that say, I can't afford to become a pilot, I really question if you truly want to be a pilot. Because if you truly want to be a pilot, you'll say, I want to be a pilot. I can't afford this right now. 
but I'm going to make this happen. I'm going to work two jobs. I'm going to save up for a year. I don't care if it takes five years. I'm going to make this happen. So that's not really a solution um, on how to get money, but it's just a, an adjustment or a recommended adjustment in your mental attitude, in your finances, in your pursuit to becoming a pilot. Hopefully I didn't come off, come off harsh. Uh, I didn't mean to. Hopefully it was inspiring or motivating. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.